Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com where you will find hundreds of free guitar lessons taught with patience and an understanding of what it's like to be a beginner. This particular lesson is I See Fire by Ed Sheeran, a fingerstyle version. In fact, it's a fingerstyle song. So we're going to be breaking down in great detail. Perhaps you've learned this song before and you found it really difficult to get that first part that part of the beginning. I will be showing you in great detail, including the rhythm, how to get that, because the rhythm is the part that's the hardest, and working on your hammer-ons and flick-offs as well. On top of that, I will be showing you the rest of the song, including the chorus. Let's start learning how to do that now. We start this riff. Can you tap this with me? The reason why I want you to do that is because the rhythm in that part at the beginning is probably the hardest thing to understand, as well as having the muscle memory to do the flick offs. Um, so it is quite a challenge. So the beat is dun 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 dun. dun. And if I play that slowly, you'll hear, you'll see, check I'm not going mental. So you hear that da 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 da. And all you need to do is start training mostly this hand to keep the rhythm. Because most of the time we're used to this hand doing the rhythm. Um, however, not the case so much with this because it's both. The left hand has to do flick offs and hammer ons which need to keep time. So I'll do it very slowly then I'll give you the full breakdown. So what I'm doing is I'm starting on the second fret on the G string and the pinky is on the fifth fret on the B string. My pinch is involving the thickest string, index and middle with the two fingers that I'm holding down. So that's the pinch that you do to start with, okay? Pretty simple, bit of a stretch you have to do with your hands, but with the capo on the sixth fret that I forgot to mention, sorry, it's not so difficult to do. So pinch, and then get this ring finger ready to take action to do a hammer on on the fourth fret, all relative to the capo, on the same string that your index finger is on. Now a hammer-on is where the ring finger slams down onto the string. You don't pick anything. You can hear, that's me hammering on. I'm not using this hand to make the sound. So you pinch, then you hammer. It's a lot easier to hammer if your thumb is right round the neck of the guitar, so you're hammering into something. If your thumb's up here, you, you can't get any volume in your hammer on, so bring it right round and push your wrist forwards. So that's the beginning. You then flick. Flick is the opposite of a hammer, where you dig your callus into the string, flick it away to reveal this two here. So you didn't move this the whole time, or this pinky that you were doing, the pinch and the hammer. There you go. Pick. Hammer, flick. Practice that. Practice getting volume out of your hammer on and out of your flick off. You're then doing another flick with the index finger. So it's flicking to a zero. So you're going pick, hammer, hammer four, flick two, flick zero. Got that so far, right? And that's the beat, so it's da 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 da. So you need to train your left hand to do those hammer-ons in time. Now with your thumb, pick the D string, open, and then you're doing another hammer-on with the index finger to the second fret on the D string. Notice I'm not going, I'm not picking it. you've understood that. Then open on the D string with the index finger. Notice the whole while I didn't move my pinky because I want that to keep ringing throughout the bar. Really slowly. Then make a C chord. Well start with the ring finger on the C chord. You know you normally your C's like this. So start with the ring finger, strum the top three strings of the C. That's the A, D, and G string. A, 
88 dynamite goodbye Eddie if you don't know the names of the strings. Give it a strum with the side of your thumb and then the middle finger is going to hammer on which would be the next finger in your C chord if you were making it backwards, right? So I strum, then my middle finger slams down. I'm not going, I'm not picking it. Very slowly. I can do that better than that. And again. So once you've done that hammer on, I just want you then to hit the strings with your wrist. So you just basically bring your uh, hand into a bit of a fist and just slam the strings. Ed also does this sort of thing where he does these kind of chucks with muted, but I just prefer to hit. That's the sort of thing Ed does, he does that. It's not for me personally. So that's your first riff. Once again, it's all about that beat. If you can tap that beat, then you will get this. Just persevere. Then make a D chord. With your D chord, you're gonna lift up the index finger. So you've got two zeros on the D and the G string, and I want you to pinch those two zeros and then hammer with the index finger to complete the D onto the second fret on the G. Then middle finger, which is on the third fret on the B. Then chuck, hit, E minor, strum the top four strings, then hit. So it's... Again. So let's put all that together. Hard to do really slowly. One more time. Three, four. And at medium speed. Okay. So the second time round you do it, the difference is Everything's the same. You make your C chord, but this time you're gonna strum the G, D, G and B string, and you're gonna hammer with middle and index finger to complete your C. So that's two finger hammer. Can be quite challenging for most guitarists. Then chuck. So it's. And then the final part is exactly the same as we did before. D with the hammer, chuck E minor, chuck. So that's the two riffs. Then the verse, you strum an E minor, then go chuck. Then make just middle, leave the middle finger where it is from the E minor, go to the third fret on the thickest string, strum the top three strings then chuck. So it's E minor, D with hammer on, pinch thumb index and middle, then C with hammer on on the middle finger. Notice I'm just strumming the A, D and G string. I'll do that again. E minor, G, this is based on a G chord. Good so far? Same thing again. So we go E minor, G, hammer with the D, then A minor seven. So pretty easy with an A minor seven. You either make an A minor, lift up the ring finger, or you can think of it as a C without the ring finger. Your choice. But anyway, it's first fret on the B, second fret on the G, D. So that's E minor, G, D with hammer, A minor seven, then E minor, G, D with hammer, C, a minor seven, G over B. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Here's A minor seven. G over B, middle finger up on the second fret on the A string, pinky finger on the third fret on the B string, strum the middle four strings, and then C, and you hold it. 
So the last bar is A minor, last bar of the verse, and then C, two, three. Then that's back into. And then you're into another verse, which I don't need to explain to you. It's exactly the same thing. So you come from, um, let's just do the last little bit. So it's A minus seven, G over B, C, C. So that is a little bit different the second time round. A minus seven, G over B, C. Then A minus seven, then C. 